Hello everybody and welcome to another video with Iron Gwyn. Yay! And today, welcome to another review. This is a review of a bootleg set. And this is a Jurassic World set, which comes with six dinosaurs, but I only have five of them with me, as the other one was so bad, so awful, that I didn't keep it when I got these for Christmas about three, four years ago. So with that out of the way, I can say there were six figures that came with this set. I don't know their location either, because they had the worst printing, worst things. They were definitely the worst part of this set, so I got rid of them. But these dinosaurs here were not actually that bad. So, let's take a look at them one by one. Let's start with blue here. So this is an exact copy of the Lego blue from this time. With um, the exact same printing and it could almost be a Lego one, but it isn't. Because the printing, there's some things sticky there, the printing's a bit off. It's not, definite, it's definitely not Lego. And that's even more proved when you can take this bit off, which you definitely can't do in Lego. It's there, you can definitely see that there's a different piece there in Lego. But they try and hide it so well that you can barely tell. So, there's nice printing. It has the claws. I never got an actual Lego blue from the first Jurassic World wave. So, I can't do a comparison. The jaw opens and closes. It doesn't close all the way. You can still see the teeth poking out. Whereas the Lego closes all the way. The head rotates uh, 360 degrees around. Now if we look at the other dinosaur of this set. The Lego made a version of themselves. And I get the Lego one here. Sorry. If I just get the Lego one out. Here we go. You can see that there are... They are very similar. This is the Lego. This is the bootleg. They are very similar. But if you look very close at, around the frill, the printing's different. And if you look around the detachable part there, the printing's different. And that part does not come off on the Lego one. Whereas this one, again, it does come off. Or maybe not as easily with this one. It has nice prints. It's well done. It's made to look just like the Lego one. It doesn't, but it tries, and it does a good job at it. The This arm is much looser than the other arm, and the two legs. And the jaw, again, doesn't close fully, which you can actually see between the two. So, the bootleg company also made a Pteranodon. But this is actually the Lego one, because the bootleg one was so awful. Because the wings would not stay on, as they had a piece which was a 2x2 two two tile, which had the clips coming out the side, which you put this in, but it wouldn't stay on the thing. And the beak wouldn't open properly either, so I just got rid of it. So, now let's get on to the three figures this set has, which LEGO does not. Here is a T-Rex. This is designed using the Dilophosaurus legs with unique printing on both sides, which is very nice. I really like the look of it. But, and it has the Velociraptor arms, which I also like. I think the printing is really nice on this figure. The head is unique, made specially by the bootleg company. The jaw is a bit weak, doesn't it opens too fast. It do, you can't hear the click when it does. And also the strange thing about this is that there's a light brown colour going through most of it, but then there's a reddish brown on the head, on the arms, and on the back here. Which again, can be taken off if you try. And I think this head also splits in heart. Or is that this one? Yeah, the if... If you remove the jaw and take the head off, I think it splits in half. No, that's the 
Indominus. I'm wrong about that. Okay. But this one, on the other hand, I think the head does actually split in half. This has a different tail with the spines on it. I don't know where this tail came from. It has nice printing. It uses the same legs and arms as the T-Rex, but printed differently. It has nice detailed printing. It's a small Indominus Rex if you, can't, if you couldn't afford the big set. But the head is very loose. And if you take off the jaw, which is actually quite a good jaw, then I am pretty sure that the head just splits in half. Or not. Or maybe I've just made that up entirely. Okay, ignore that. I just made it up entirely. <laughs> Oops. Okay, the last figure of this set is one that LEGO has never tried, whereas all the others of this set, even the T-Rex and the Indominus, LEGO has made bigger versions of. This is a Triceratops. It has a unique fancy head mold, which has the different colours and even some different materials in it. And, of course, the plate on the back does come off. I think it's meant to be a different shade of brown to add more detail, but I could be wrong. That could also be a mistake. It has nice printing. And it has golden shiny toes for some strange reason. And all of these attach to studs at their feet. So that is it for this set, as it does not have any kind of instructions or packaging or anything. It just came in little plastic bags. So I thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please like comment, subscribe, tell me your opinion of this set in the comments below, and I will see you later. Bye!